はい、あのー、こちらの、えー、京都市国際交流協会の、えー、井上と申します、えー。事務局長をしております。あのー、今日のメインは本来は検査員さんなのかもしれないんですけれども、うん、ちょっとその前にあのせっかくねこういう機会いただいているので、えー、私の方からご説明させてもらおうかなと思いました。あのー。私、こちらの教会の,あの事務局長をしているんですけれども、実はあの祇園祭りの後祭り、ね、明日は先祭りの巡行なんですけれども、後祭りの高山というものに、えー、長年関わっております、えー。高山が昨年196年ぶりに復興したんですけれども、えー、もともとはですねあの、ご存じない方もおられるかもしれないですけれども、応仁の乱っていうのがね、日本にあったんですけれども、もう何百年も前ですね。応仁の乱前後ぐらいから高山はあったと言われておりますそして196年前の大雨それとかハマグリ御門の変で全部をなく,しなくしてしまったんですねでそれを、えー、町衆が、えー、もう一度やり直そうよ作ろうよということで何度かそういう復興の機運があったんですけれども、えー、昨年なんとか、えー、できることになりましたあのー高山っていうのは、これなんですね。えー、なぎなたぼこであるとか、菊水ぼこさんあの、そういう矛と同じ、要するにこの形のものっていうのは、お囃子、こう笛とかねあの、お囃子をやっているのが、この、えー、形をしております。で、えー、私たちの山は、あの引き山と言います。で、大きさとしては、だいたい 7.6 メーター。で、重さが、あの11トン 7.6 というのは屋根の上までですから、松の一番上までいったらもっと高いんですけれども、重さが11トンほどあります。でそれを、えー、50人ほどでこう引くんですけれども、えー、まだですね、こういう屋根とか真っ白なんですね、白木なんです。はい、あのー、北観音山さんとか、なぎなたぼこさんとか、見られたことあると思いますが、すごいタペストリーにすごいキンキンキラキラのもう豪華な装飾品があると思います。あれはね何十年もしかしたら100年かかるかもしれません。はい、ゆっくりゆっくりゆっくりゆっくり出来上がっていくもの。ですから今なぎなたぼこさん見ていただいてもいやあれは100年前の何々なんです。このタペストリーは200年前の何々なんです。ってこう言われてると思うんですけどもそれぐらい古いんです。だから高山もまだ形はできたんですけれども、別に出来上がったわけではないです。巡行に復帰しただけなんですね。だからこれから次の世代、次の世代に、えー、送っていけたらいいかなと思っています。で、私は何をしているかと言いますと、パッと開けていただいて、ごめんなさいね、私あの英語でも喋れたらいいんですけど、皆さんの前で喋る英語能力というのは今まだ翻訳し、通訳していい英語,英語,英語で OK, so、uh, Mr. Ueda is with the Takayama float, which, which you see.、Um, <laughs> Inoue san is, is with the Takayama float, and,、uh, which we see here. And I'm so happy to have a representative of Takayama here because it's the newest float. It debuted last year, it was gone for almost 200 years. Uh, some of it burned in a fire, and some of it was destroyed by a really heavy rainfall. And so, for two, almost 200 years, they, the neighborhood, because each float belongs to a community, to a neighborhood, and the community has been wanting to rebuild the float and come back to the Gion Festival. And it took 200 years, and they, they finally did it amazingly last year. It's really、uh, exciting. Yeah. It's- Really, really an achievement for the power of community in an era where the urban core everywhere in the world, the, the community is, is slowly、um, becoming smaller.、Um, however, there's more to be done. In, in an undertaking of this size, they, they completed the float and it has some decorations, but the decorations are incomplete. In particular, you can see that it's a beautiful wood color. but If you look at the other floats, they are, the wood is covered in black lacquer, beautiful black lacquer. And that's a natural preservative so that the wood lasts longer, so that it's not subject to insects. And so there's a lot more still to be done.、Uh, the other floats you can see have incredible 
beautiful uh, metalwork decorating all the wooden edges. And so it's a, even though it took 200 years to get this far, it's gonna take another 200 years to decorate the float. Peace, Noe san. So, で、私がどのようなはい。あの、<笑> So what Inoue san does is it's one of the scariest jobs because the floats do not turn, the wheels don't turn, they're always straight. But but you know if you even if you go straight you go a little bit this way a little bit that way so there are these men like Inuesan who get there right up next close to the wheel with a with a big mallet and stick the mallet under the the wheel to get it to go a little bit the other way to keep it from running into the people on the side of the road and I just I just kind of think like oh how can they do that it's a very courageous job. I know. 本当に電車です。細い道から細い道は高山だけ。6階のこのマースを突き回していますが、6階あります。ハードワークです。ハードワークですね。It <笑> it really is a dangerous job and in particular some of the roads have been widened mostly in the war to make fire breaks like Oike Dori is a very wide road but historically the roads were very narrow especially Shinmachi and only Takayama has to turn from a narrow road there on Sanjo, which is narrow at that point, and they have to turn on to Shimachi, which is another narrow road. It's really, really tough to turn on such a tight corner. All the other floats get to go from a wide road to a wide road or maybe from a narrow road to a wide road. So they have to have a lot of skill and his job is super important. あの、難しいんですけれども、すごくやりがいのある業務、あの、we, we can visit Takayama on, it's in the Ata Matsuri, the second half of the Matsuri. So it's 21st, 22nd, 23rd. We can go and visit it. We can also go on board the float. And the 24th, it will be in the procession. We can watch it in the procession. And he's invited everyone, if, if you go, to please ask for a Nui san, and he'll come out and, and say hello. Oh, and, and he also said, although it's such a scary job, it's just such a cool job. That, that, you know, it's kind of great to do. Hi, Many friends. <laughs> <笑>あの、初めにちょっとお出しからちょっとあの、ちょっと陳謝というか、今日の目的はあくまでもあの、市民サポートセンター様、市民サポートグループの方々なんですけども、ちょっとあの、私たち予想以上に海外の方、外国
、で本当に市民あ、京都国際交流協会様にもあのいい場所をね、セッティングいただきまして、ありがとうございます。は、う、じ、ん、めにちょっと御礼と審査申し上げます。はい、どうもありがとうございます。皆さん、なんかご不自由ないですか聞,聞こえますかちょっと後ろのバックあの席で申し訳ございません。<笑>で今日はね、実は外国人の方々っていうのは、あの皆さんにご紹介、本当はしたい、もう時間ないんですけども、大体大学の教授とか、あの有名な作家とかが来てませんと、あの本当にね、貴重なあの交流の場になると思いますのでね。そしたら、あの、レッツスタート、特に京都ジャーナルの方がいらっしゃって、エスペシャリミスター京都ジャーナル。じゃあ、会えなさい。<笑>いや、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あなた、あ
when we talk about Gion Matsuri, many people think, oh, okay, this is Gion Matsuri. This is maybe the most famous part, the Yamaboko. Uh, there's two kinds of floats. One is Yama, one is Hoko, and together we call them Yamaboko, where in English we say floats. But really, this is a kind of, kind of small part of the Gion Festival. So I want to explain to you the, the, a little bit about the origin, a little bit about the history, and a little bit about the meaning. Why, why do we do Gion Matsuri? It is a lot to do with rain. It is a lot to do with water. Uh, uh, we're, we, not today, but we are in rainy season and rainy season lasts about a month, as you know. And antibiotics came to Kyoto in the 1950s. Um, Sankyu Hyaku Goju Nendai, right? But before that, the summer was a very scary time because people would get sick, it would get wet, there would be lots of water, standing, and hygiene. A, uh, hygiene ASI was um, not as good as today. And so people would get sick and people would die. And even today, the elderly people, the senpai no katagata, they remember, oh yes, my brother died from the summer, what we say summer sickness, not to no biyoki. So, Probably, we say not to no biyoki, summer sickness, but probably it was cholera, maybe, or dysentery, maybe. But this is an old woodblock print, thanks to Craft Tabby. And this, this man here is sick. And you can see this smoke inside. There's a fox and a, a, a ghost, like an obake. And so... They, they thought the sickness was from spirits, right? And in Japanese, they say onryo, so angry spirits. Okay, you did something bad, the spirits are angry, they make you sick, okay? And this is, this is very interesting to me. Of course, now we know it has to do with bacteria and hygiene and sanitation, but also we know that if I am really angry all the time, we know that my immune system, my teikyo ryoku, goes, goes weak, right? We know if I'm angry all the time, I will probably get sick more than a happy person or a person with a good life. Okay, this is a print I found of an onryo. Okay, pretty, pretty scary, pretty kawaii, right? So this is, um, in English, we say evil spirit, but maybe I think it's better to say negative energy because it's, uh, yeah, maybe an angry spirit, but maybe just I'm angry, okay? So this is the bad news, is the angry spirit or the negative energy. And this is the good news. This is the godyo. So an ondyo, an angry spirit, can convert or transform into a godyo, into a supporter, a supporter spirit, a helper. And this is maybe the most famous ondyo, which is Tenjin-sama, or here, Sugawara Michizane. Okay, so um, you know there are Tenmangu, thousands of Tenmangu shrines all around the country, and they're all devoted to Sugawara Michizane or Tenjin-sama. So Tenjin means um, sky god, and, uh, but originally he was a lightning god, Kaminari, he, and he, they thought he was angry, and he made lightning, Kaminari, and he made fire, and people died in the fire. So in the beginning, he was very scary, very kawaii. But now in Japan, he is really great. He is really helpful. He helps us when we need to study. He helps us when um, 
something something bad happens to us, something unfair. Okay. And here he is, Sugawara Michizane Tenjin Sama at Adare Tenjin Yama. So he is uh, respected at this float in the Gion Festival. This is a statue of him. And he is also here inside the shrine at Abura Tenjin Yama. So these two floats inside the Gion Festival are asking for Tenjin Sama's support for his help. In the, in the hot, rainy season, please help us so we don't get sick, so we don't suffer. So why, why do they change from an onryo to a goryo? Well, we, we give them things. Here, please have sake. Here, please have salt. Here, please have sakaki leaves. Onigashimasu. Please help us. So we give, we call these offerings or gifts. And um, we pray. So uh, simple offerings are good. The, the ones before were very simple. It's kind of easy. And sometimes we have more and more <laughs> offerings. This is kanko boko. And so everyone in the neighborhood brings sake and fruit and fish to, um, this is their um, sacred statue, the Ningyo-san at kanko boko. So everybody is giving. And at the end, Kanko Boko gives to the community. Here, sweet son, dozo, osake, do desu ka? Dozo, dozo, dozo. So, so it also builds community. We, we give, but also we receive. So it's this beautiful cycle. And then our, our relationships get better. So, Another way that we, so in the Gia Matsuri, as you know, in, Sh in Shinto in general, it's a Shinto festival. So Shinto we say is, in English we say it's, um, Shinto is way of the gods. We have way of tea, way of flowers, and way of the gods or way of the spirits. And this is Ayagasa Boko. They have this amazing dance. He twirls this stick. This is a ancient technique, a method for driving away negative energy. And also just amazing to watch. Just So when you watch this, you just, oh, that's so great. So I feel good. Right? If I was feeling bad, now I feel good because it's so great. So dance is another way we another way we give to the gods through dance. Through music, we give to the gods to make them happy. This is um Gion Daiko on Shijodori in front of Yasaka Jinja Gate. Uh, these are professionals, <laughs> Yamabushi. Um, so that here they, every year they come to the Gion festival, they go to every float and they pray the heart sutra. So the heart sutra is considered the best, the best sutra, the top sutra. So they go to every float and they pray the heart sutra. And of course, around are many, many people. So again, giving to everybody this nice energy from the Heart Sutra, this wisdom from the Heart Sutra. They pray for world peace. Thank you. Thank you for praying for world peace. Uh, Nakamura-san is hosting some Ukrainian refugees. So this is important to really, you know, what, what can I do for world peace? And um, here, this is the gomatake, gomatake. So we write on a piece of wood, what, what do I pray for? You know, world peace, good health. And then they have a ceremony, a ritual 
uh, shingi and they burn the gomataki and the and the smoke goes to the heaven to the gods please world peace Another another um, ceremony chanting the Heart Sutra. But we don't need to be professionals like the Yamabushi, right? I saw this lady, she's just next to the Otabi show, which is where the um, the Yasaka Jinja Mikoshi shrines stay at the Otabi show and, and she was there praying so and anyone if if you like anyone has this power everyone has this ability and then each float so we saw two floats have tenjin sama as their deity and each float has a deity um so we have this is at minami kanonyama um and uh, there's also Kita Kanon Yama. So two floats have Kanon Sama. So it's a Shinto ritual, but it also has Buddhism in it. And she is the, the Bodhisattva or the Bosatsu, Bodhisattva of compassion. Compassion is Kashikotaba, this name, Jihi. 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 Yeah. Um, so we can we can give gifts to Kanon Sama to help us with her compassion. Or to this is at Yamabushi Yama. He this is a Jozo Kisho in uh, maybe maybe five hundred A.D. six hundred A.D the Yasaka Pagoda. There's a pagoda in the Higashiyama area and it went like the Pisa Tower. It was like this. And, and he went at the bottom and all night he's, he's praying, he's saying his mantras like this. And in the morning, in the morning it was, it was like this, right? So this guy has some power because he is so good. Uh, his spiritual practice is so good. So we, so we can ask him for his help. And, and here's the offerings, right? Fruit, mochi, sake, money. Um, Shotoku Taishi, Prince Shotoku. He was a genius, right? He was this amazing genius. He brought uh, Buddhism to Japan. He brought um, organization, government organization. He was very smart man. He knew Buddhism sutras very well. And so at Taishiyama, they pray to Shotoku Taishi. And this is inside Hatake, this beautiful machia. This is Kakyoyama. And Kakyoyama and Mosoyama are Confucian, Kyukyo. So Gyamatsuri is classic Japanese matsuri, but we mix Shinto and Buddhism and Confucianism, Kyuko, and also Islam Kyo, is, Islam is in it, and Yudaya Kyo, Judaism is in it, and Chris Kyo is in it, and um, Greek, Greek paganism, Grecian or Pagan, um, Pagan. Mo, mo, they are all mixed together. So very international festival. So we, we um, any kind of help, you know, Confucianism, Kyukyo, please help. Shinto, please help. Buddhism, please help. Islamkyo, please help, right? But in this day, mm -hmm. this international day, we need all this different kinds of help. And this is Taoism, Inyo, Inyo Kyo, Inyo Kyo, um, Tokyo, Dokyo, thank you, Dokyo. Uh, it's a tapestry, a jutan at um, Tokusayama. 
So it's uh, also the Dokyo Seijin. Please, please help us. And, and, and not just Kamisama Tachi. We don't just ask for help from the gods or the spirits or the Buddhas. So this one, he ha he's holding this tray with, with some, something on it. This is reishi, reishi mushrooms. Very good for health. And here too, this is a hoshoyama, that's reishi mushroom. Okay, so, so yeah, I'm gonna pray, but I'm also gonna eat healthy food. And here, this is Minami Kanonyama. This here, this is lacquer, urushi. With, it has some plants on it, shokubutsu. And it's um, July plants, and it's medicinal plants, kusuriyo no shokubutsu desu ne. So when, when uh, Hoshoyama goes through Kyoto, it also goes reishi energy, reishi energy, reishi energy. This goes through Kyoto and it's like medicine, medicine, medicine energy. And you know this, this is a nandista, gohei. This is called a gohei. It's a, we say in English, a zigzag, zigzag. And um, it represents lightning, kaminari, so again, rainy season, and it's for purification, right, oharai, so beautiful space, clean space, pure space, so the, the float goes through Kyoto, pure energy, pure energy, pure energy, bad, go away, go away. This is Kita Kanonyama, and this is the willow, a willow plant, a tree. Willow is Yanagi, right? This is medicine. This is medicine for fever, for Netsu. And Netsu is fever is one of the symptoms of summer sickness. So Kita Kanonyama goes through Kyoto and it's medicine, medicine, medicine. No fever, no fever, no fever. And at, at the end, everyone said, like, ah, give me, give me Yanagi, give me Willow. So these are the Mikoshi, the, the sh we say portable shrine, movable shrine, okay, small shrine. So these are the three main gods at Yasaka Jinja. And usually they live in the Honden, in the main hall. Okay, so Susano no Mikoto. He is the god of storms, right? So rainy season, this god is really important. And this is Kushi Inada Hime his partner. She is the goddess of rice. So we need water for rice. We need water for food. We need water to live. And this is, this is their children. Okay. So we can see, please, we're, we're praying, please, not too much water, <laughs> not too much, but enough. Balance, right? We're all trying to get balance. And this is a Ennogyoji Yama. There's all these dragons, and a lot of them are blue. Okay. So in in Kyoto geomancy or Kyoto, we say in we say in English Feng Shui, which is Chinese pronunciation, I think Fu Sui. Right, we have a uh, oh, black black tortoise in the north, 
and blue dragon in the east and red bird in the south and white tiger in the west. So the blue dragon lives below Yasaka Shrine main hall and dragons control rain. So, so many dragons in Gion Matsuri, Funeboko. That's uh, Minami Kanonyama, the blue dragon, the Seiryu. This is at Tsukiboko. So um, maybe you know the story about Kukai Kobodaishi um, Nanseki deshita kana? Nan Nanseki, sorry, what's on a hanashi wa Kukai? Kyuseki, thank you, Kyuseki. Thank you. <laughs> Kuka, uh, there was no water. People were dying. There was no food, no water. And so Kukai came to Shinsen and to pray to dragons. Please bring water. Please bring water. And they did. And Shinsenen is where Gyamatsuri began. And Shinsenen, the Mikoshi still go to Shinsenen today. And next year is the 1000. Uh, 400 anniversary, uh, 1000 anniversary of that um, time of Kukai oh, praying yeah, for, yeah. praying to the dragon. Yeah, yeah. Ah, thank you, thank you. 1200 anniversary is next year. に祈願した年が八百二十四年、えっと、八百二十四年、八百二十四年、八百二十四年、八百二十四年、八百二十四年、八百二十四年、八百二十四年、八百二十四年、八百二十四年、八百二十四年、八百二十四年、八百二十四
But now we have climate change. And this was just last year. And uh, I was in front of somebody's house. This is in the Gion Festival neighborhood. I was in front of somebody's house and the water was going into their house, right? So I think with climate change, it has a new kind of meaning for us. And um, enough water has a new kind of meaning, but not too much. Okay, so when the Yamaboko go tomorrow on the streets, actually, what are they doing? They are preparing for the Mikoshi. They are preparing for the Yasaka Shrine deities to come to the Otabi show. So they go through the streets and they, they have their own Gohei, they have their own deities and who purify the streets, Kiyomeru, the streets of Kyoto, all the people in preparation to, and to welcome the Mikoshi, to welcome Susanomi Koto, Kushi Inada Hime and their children. Nice, welcome, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So after that, the Mikoshi can come because now the streets are pure. Now it's okay. Now it's um, a, suitable for, for gods. This is uh, the Shinko Sai from Yasaka Jinja to the Otabi Show at Sanjo Kawaramachi. And Otabi Show means visiting place. So they go, the Minkoshi go through Kyoto. This is last year. They just went straight, straight down Shijo. But usually they go, they go like, <laughs> like this and purifying, 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 blessing, blessing, blessing to the Otabi show. They stay there one week. We can go visit. We can go ask for world peace. And then they go back. But they can't just go back. This is the Atomatsuri. So the Atomatsuri floats prepare the streets for the return trip. This is Ofune Boko. Look at that big go, go hey, purifying the Kyoto streets. Sometimes they, they change. One year it's a, this big Gohei, and one year it's a dragon. So, and then go, hey, dragon, go, hey, dragon. Here, here on the front. Uh, yeah, I think you can see the dragon in Daimaru department store window. And then this is the Kankosai. On the night of July 24th, then the Mikoshi, the shrines go from the Otabi show all around to Shinsenen, down uh, what's that street? Down the shopping arcade by Horikawa, Sanjo, Sanjo Horikawa, and then all over, all over, blessing, 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 back to Yasaka Shrine, and then back into the main hall, back into the Honden. And oh, can sorry, can you go back one? So these guys, right? These guys, this is. Um, you know, like six tons or something like that, they're carrying on their shoulders, right? So, so maybe at one time about 50 guys are, are holding this or even 100 guys. So that is so heavy. So all these guys are like black and blue and purple and bleeding and so tired and their families are support, support, support. So this is part of our offering. They they offer this to the gods, but they offer to the community, they offer to Kyoto City, they offer to all the visitors very freely. So very, very, very generous community. And here's Takayama. Last year, their first hikizome. That's a practice poll. And um, this is so exciting because now we have another community in the Gion Matsuri doing all this generous giving. They, they give to the visitors, 
they give to each other to make the community stronger, which is so important today because so many people are suffering from loneliness, right? They say loneliness is an epidemic, right? So when we have something that makes the community stronger, this is really, really valuable. Yeah, so there's my book. <laughs> the ebook has a search function. I love that. And next one. And then this is um, yeah, if you'd like to take a picture, you're welcome to. Um, or if you just go to my website, um, you can find the Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and email. And so I'm I'm very interested in this Keizoku Kano Nagyansai. So a sustainable Gion Matsuri. So it is more than 1,000 years old. That's so great. So, so I'm thinking, what can we do to help it be another 1,000 years? This is a really nice, um, nice challenge, I think. OK, yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Yeah. あ、あの、あの、入ったもんですから、そこから で、今日のあの、この自然環境と人類思考は そういう特に<笑> 
日本語で受け付けます。英語でよかったら。Can, can, can I, first, I'll, I'll translate what you just said. Okay. In, in, a, in a nutshell. まあ時間はね制限があって12時半までなので、あのまだ市民サポートの方々から。We, we wanna, um,、はい、it's thanks to the Kyoto International Community、はい、House for hosting us. It's officially for their staff, so、はい、they can have some support about how to explain the Giamatsuri to the visitors.、Um, so, we'd really like to honor that and、um, honor their questions because it's so important that they be able to、um, do their job well and, and support visitors.、Hmm. And,、um, Nakamura san and I share a real interest in. Could you hold your book up, please? He, this, is,、um, this is a book he published recently for Elements in Mythology, <laughs> Japanese mythology and world mythology. And Jan here is a contributor. So that also addresses water. Anything? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> is that, is that <laughs> a.、Um, <laughs> yeah, that's when、uh, we met. The head priest at Yasaka Shrine last year.、Um, so we're very interested. These are, these are、uh, ancient, it's an ancient festival,、um, beautiful ancient tradition, but we think it's very important today what this festival does, what mythology teaches us. And、um, Nakamura san uses the example of water. Right? This is a very important issue for everybody around the world today. So,、uh, water, for example, or、um, illness, for example, epidemics, for example, and also community. These are all such important issues for us today. And we share the belief that these ancient traditions can be very helpful to teach us what, what do we do about these contemporary challenges. And, and so we wanted to give the,、um, the staff here from Koksai Kodi Kaikan the opportunity to ask some questions, and then we'll have time for other questions too, if you have them. And, and thanks to Kara, because、uh, thanks to her, we can also stream on Zoom. Yeah, <laughs> online. ね、最近はあの大体こういうイ,インパートでね、アンドオンライン、ボ,ボーストネットワークでねあの、そんな感じで、つい、えー、おとついね、レイアフタートあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあの日本のね、オーバーツーリズム、か観光がね、多分の方がいっぱい来すぎて、いろんな問題ですね、そういうまたレクチャーも、あのー、おとつやったばっかりなんですけど、ね、今日来るメンバーは、彼女は今、今日主役ですけども、ここに座ってるメンバーはみんな主役です。<笑>どういうメンバー今日来てもらってます、はい、まあ、あの、今言って、急にね、ご質問がな,なければ、また後日でもね、あの私、中村正樹に。Oh, need you, need you, Doku Nichi Made. Yeah, Nichi Doku Nichi Made. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I'm, I'm just here till the end of the Atomatsuri. Yeah, it's a short time. But, but it's, it's a short time. I came the 12th this year, so basically two weeks. Very short, but also kind of long at the same time. Okay. あの、3年、4年、ディディウェイト4イヤー、2イヤー。いや、3、いや、ビカス。3年待って、コーナー落ちたんで、去年やったことあるんです。で、去年僕らし初めて会って、それも京都新聞と朝日新聞に当然いただ
これはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれはこれ劇場を、はい、もう晴らせるな、はい、そういう趣旨でやってるって聞いたことがあるんですが、はい、海外でも、うん、あのリオデンジャネイロのカーニバルがあるじゃないですか。他にもなんかスペインだとかそれへんにもありそうな気がするんですが、はい、そういうのはみんな似たような感じなんだろうか。僕いやあの今のご質問は目的ですか、うん、その目的その、ね要するにあの。祭りをやる趣旨が、うん、いろんなと国で同じようなことが起こる。はい、yeah, yeah, yeah.、Um, so the question is about、uh, there, there are festivals all over Japan, thousands of festivals, I think, and、um, many have this purification purpose. And then, of course, there are festivals around the world, like Carnival in Rio de Janeiro. And、uh, The gentleman is asking if they have a similar function or a similar purpose.、Oh. And、um, that's a good question. I don't know. It's an exciting exploration, I think.、Um, I have been busy just with Gian Matsur, <laughs> kind of like this. <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I'm very interested in this question. Next step. Yeah. そういう今のご質問っていうのは新たなまた我々のその研究とかねあの課題になるんですよ。あのいろんなことをしゃべるとやっぱりそういうご質問を受けてみんなでもそういうのを調べていこうと。あの単に今安易に答えるよりもちゃんと一つ一つの質問に調べてあの、まあ、そういったものをご回答するなり我々で、ね、そういうのを含めてそのずっと繰り返したんですよ。質問と答えと。これの集大成がこの日本,本であったりね。これも,もういろんな方の質問を受けてまとめ上げたあの本になってるんですよ。Yeah. あの図書館でね、えーと、いつも出たりしますけれども、そういうコミュニケーションそのものが意味がある。そう私は思ってますので、And, ありがとうございます。And this, this, this is more Nakamura-san's specialty. He's very good at, at speaking with many different kinds of people and people from different countries. And finding what is similar in Greek, yeah, yeah, Greek. yeah、oh, right. Greek myth、India. and Japanese myth or India,、yeah. India myth. And, and he has this collection、yeah. in his book.、まああのー、and a great instrument for world peace. Yeah, peace. Because we realize、yeah. we human beings, we have the same, yeah, we have the same, same purpose.、Yeah. あのー I'm a Garrett of Brian Kiki, evacuated in Japan. I'm a Garrett, two, two Brian Kiki, living in Nava. I know, Osaka is in the Brian, Mamoto, the Garabano, Nakama, and the most, some of them are the Yaga, the new one. Ah, what's the one? I don't know, please. I love you. Yes.、Okay. Oh, she's going to give you a microphone. Yes, of course. Is it effective? Hello? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, so、um, I have not read your book yet, <laughs> but I just want to know about、uh, what's the difficult part of writing this book. So, this is、That's、just the difficult、one. part. Yes. <laughs> Is there any challenge that you face while you write this book? It's, it's so big. The Gion Festival is so big. It took me a long time to、um, understand how it, it, it's very big, but it's, it's one thing, one big thing,、mm -hmm. and many, many, many different things、right? at the same time. Okay, so in the beginning, I lived in the Yamaboko Cho in the, Yama, in the float neighborhoods. So I was only looking at Yamaboko floats. And after maybe 10 years, or I, I thought, okay, I, maybe I understand Gia Matsuri. And someone said, no, 
Yasaka Jinja is the true Gion Matsuri. <laughs> and I didn't know anything about Yasaka Jinja. I was, oh. <laughs> but, but it's great, so interesting. But um, yeah, and to, to explain well, you know, and, and simply is um, a little tough, but, but fun. Mm, yeah, good to know that. I think you have a lot of connections so that to able to I'm sorry, did collect I all the, you are able to collect all the informations that you need to write the book. Yeah, so this is why I emphasize, this is why I say so, so strongly from the heart, it's about generosity because during the Gion Festival, as Inoue san can say, they're so busy, right? And really just, you know, they have, they have one day to build their big hoko in one day, you know? And, and I come and I'm like, excuse me, <laughs> may I please ask a question? <laughs> and, um, and they were very generous. And uh, yeah, and, and so thanks to them, I was able to understand a little bit and, and write this book. So I, I can't believe how generous they are, mm. really. It's so great. So it gives me a lot of inspiration. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. これ見てください。そうだ、出てる。うん、あのね、要はあの、順語を明日が順語だと思うんですけど、順語を当日だけではなくて、ぜひね、この準備してるところ、準備っていうものもよくあの、見てほしい。いいですか?はい、どうぞ
and uh, she was wondering um, what what I think about that. It's um it's such an yeah it's a very interesting challenge. There's actually no single organizing body for the Gion Festival. There's there is a Gion Festival organization, but it's very um, um, specific. It's it's just uh, for to interface with the government. But but each there's thirty four floats and they are some pretty independent. They make their own decisions. Um, and of course now for hundreds of years, they depended they on the kimono, um, kimono business, kimono business people. Mm -hmm. And kimono business were really rich, generally speaking. And now, unfortunately, because of the bubble, well, fortunately, because of the bubble, we have this beautiful room. Thank you, Bubble. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful garden, right? But unfortunately, because of the bubble, one reason is the kimono business just went boom. And so now the floats do not have the rich patrons for the first time in hundreds of years. So the economy of the Gion Festival is really changing a lot right now. And nobody knows what to do. So um, Takayama and um, Ofuneboko are the two new floats, and they did crowdfunding to build their floats. So that's that's great. But also uh, the floats do receive money from the government for maintenance, for uh, to create new. Um, decorations, jutan for conservation. And that comes from Kyoto City and Kyoto Fu and Japanese government. And so I hope that money is going to back to the Gion Matsuri, but I don't know. まあ、続けるとこは、まあ、今年次第ということで、出ましたんです。何がだな。この本を紹介した。このエグゼプトの中にどうぞ。まあ、これで出てきた。僕は基本的にあの、営業マンなんで。元々はあの、IT の営業マ
、あまり担当の方行って京都のことっていうのを知らなかったんですね。それで海外の方が友達なんかがあのまず日本人って知ると京都のことを聞きたがるけど私自身は知らなくてせいぜい旅行できたぐらいだから分からなかった、うん、でもこちらに78年住むように孫はもう12年目になるかな、うん、で住んで今大学生になってますけど、うん、それで八坂神社のあれも明日参加するんですけれど、うん、いろいろそういう歴史的なことを参加させていただいて。うんあのすごく思うのは、はい、あのその歴史のこととか言った京都っていうのは本当に大事な場所だと思ってるんです、はい、私なりに、はい。それで関東にいた時は本当に毎日毎日車なしでは暮らせない暮らしをしてたんですが、はい、京都へ来て車をなくして、はい、まず歩く暮らしを始めたらやっぱり人間足で動くという、はい、歩いて暮らすということがいろんな発見があるんですよね。はいでなんて素晴らしいんだろうと思って今75なんですけどあの関東の友達には「京都どう?」って言われたら「歩いて楽しめる街ってこんな街は世界でもなかなかないと思う」「田舎へ行くと危険なんですよ」「元気なうちは歩けるんですけど帰りが心配になっちゃうんですね」「もう行きはよいよい帰りは怖いでどの辺まで遠くに行けるかな」っていうような感じの心配だからつい車に乗ってしまう。はい車だから京都に暮らしてみて大事なことは歩けて楽しい毎日 8,000 本ぐらい歩いてます、うん、とにかくもうなんていうの私歩くのが楽しいです楽しいですとにかくあの一つ数字変えただけでもまた違う景色が見てでこの京都をあの維持するキープするにはやっぱり私ね行政がそこをちゃんと着眼点として持ってないと。簡単になくなくっちゃうと思いま,すまず車社会をどうするかっていうことでもう、まあ、月ごとにいろんなイベントがあるそれにとに,にらめっこしてもう車をシャットアウトするな鬼門じゃないけど京都の町の,の中心にしてここまででストップです。それでタクシーとかバスとかサブウェイあるじゃないですか。それで暮らせますから車をもう入れないという行政のそういう考え方をきちんと持たないともう簡単になくなっちゃいますもうお祭りの日もなくなっちゃいますって私は思いましたそれで昔々五十何年前にシンガポール行った時にその時は私自分で若かったからあまりそういう行政のことやそういうインフラのこともあんまり頭にないまま。過ごしたんですけど確か五十何年前のシンガポールは車のたとえ出勤であっても車の出入りにずっと偶数のナンバーをチェックされて「今日は奇数日です偶数日です」っていうことをやってた時代があったと思うんですちょっとあまり勉強不足ではっきりは言えないですけどだからちょっとあの作戦練ってる人は奇数と偶数の車を乗り合わせの。乗り換えてたとかいうのかもしれないんですけど車の動きを何とかしないともういろんなことがそれに全部つながってると思うんです便利だから便利だから便利だから便利もう考えないでどんどん入ってきてちょっと見てあのインスタ映えするものだけを撮って帰るまあそういうような京都はそれがすごく見えてきてもう残念だなっていうふうに思って。だから人の力はできないですから。And how、uh, special it is. To, very much. To, yes, how special it is to live here and、uh, work here and, and be able to get around on public transportation. How, and,、um, how that's quite unique worldwide. And of course, we can live a lovely life in the countryside, but we may, not, we may go somewhere and、uh, say walk somewhere, but not. Be able to walk all the way back if we're elderly or if we're injured. 
and um, there may not be the public transportation to help us to get back. And um, she gave a very rousing um, call to uh, restrict the number of cars in, in Kyoto, uh, like some cities are doing internationally, where a certain point there maybe aren't private cars and only public transportation what was one suggestion. And another was um, alternating um, e even and odd uh, license plates on cars. You know, this day only even, this day only odd to reduce the number of cars. Yeah, um, that's right. Um, as, as one way to um, help maintain the quality of life in this beautiful city. Yeah. そしたらあの、あと今日あの、とても分かりやすいお話をね、水、水の扱いにね、あの、苦労していrealize today that with more than a thousand years of, of addressing human and spirits relationships with water, that it has a very international level of importance related to climate change, global warming, and um, the condition of our oceans today. Oh, Mark Sun. Mr. I, I don't need a microphone. Okay, so my question is um, talking about sustainability of this 1300 year old festival. So I'd like to know, it's a little bit following on from the idea of the $3,000 seeds. So what would you consider to be kind of the biggest challenge for the sustainability of this festival? And part one question of the question. And part two of the question is, what makes you hopeful around the steps that are being uh, already created mm -hmm. to address those issues of sustainability? Yeah, great question. Thank you. Um, so the, I think for me, the biggest challenge to sustainability is consumerism. Shohi shugi is uh, because more than 1 million people come to the Gyan Matsuri, but, but they come to, to you know, get, you know, Gyan Matsuri will get suru tamiri kuru, right? But we cannot get the Gyan Matsuri because the Gyamatsuri is about giving, right? It's about generosity. And um, yeah, so I think I think we can that that's one of the things I'm trying to do is try to change our our mind about the festival. And uh, the Gion festival community, of course, is the Yasaka Jinja community and the Yamaboko Chonan community. The, the Gion Festival community is also all of us. So I always think like, what can I do to help the Gion Festival? What can I do to help the Gion Festival, the Yamaboko Chonai people and Yasaka Jinja people? And I, I love that. It's actually much more interesting than, than trying to get something, which we never get. There's 
There's nothing to So get. what do you think we can do as regular citizens? Um, so change your mind, right? I mean, you're, you're on Cocoa. I, I know you already have, right? But um, each of us, it is a moment to moment thing. Mm -hmm. um, so every day I have to tell myself, oh, right, okay, this uh, giving, what am I giving? Because I also have the habit of what am I getting? So in it terms takes of the time. Education of the, yes, the yeah. general pub public. Yes, absolutely. That is, I'm, getting there. I'm getting there. The I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So, yeah, I think teachers and writers and staff at Koksai uh, Koryu Kaikan, like we can help change this view because it feels better. So, we just introduce the idea. And people think, oh, yeah, that's better. Um, it's a process. It's going to take uh, at least 100 years, right? But when it's a festival for 1,000 years, 100 years is not a long time. Okay, sure. Yeah, we have to go, uh, right? We need to give back the room. <laughs> OK. Thank you so much for coming.